okay Joe now that we fetch the cast in our home patch with the image the next thing to work on it is to get with it the cast data so as I say it's not a beautiful CSS that we will build is something that work okay for fetch with data so let me come back here and inside the row let me add some margin some margin some top margin to see bar and forget the cast data we need to have some click event on the entire card so for make this let's say inside the loop or not not on all let and let's fix one thing before and if the car is equal to zero is available for booking okay it is thing that we need to check and here when we click on the car's name we need to go to the details page so let's make let's put it in the link and let's say that it will be data screen php first add the card name okay refresh we get this correct link and if you click on it it will work if you have a page so in our case we don't have a page but to know that in, on the detail page we have this card we need to pass the id as parameter because we have many cards if you go to the detail page without says that is this card that you want to display it can't recognize that is this card that we want it to display so we need to pass the cast id as a parameter so for make this where let's go back where we put you put the link and add this integration and let's say we have a car id and the car id will be equal to you open your pressure bracket and you get the result and this id and this thing come from the database if you come back to database you will see the id file is auto increment okay now if we refresh and now we click on car one and we go to the url you will see that if you inside the url we get this car id is equal to two and in this case we can identify that we want to fetch the data from the cars id number two so for continue let's come back here and let's create a new file a new file and let's call a data as uh, as we create it and you remember that on the data screen we need to get the same header so and the header will be the header of the customer and we need to just just we, need, we just need to charge the header between all different screens so let's for make this let's go to admin customer and create a new folder that you will, you will call as we already made include and in this include we need, we need to create a new file that we call header and it will be php and now let's come back to the first index to the entry point of our app and take all of the content be starting where the nav end and pass it in this header section okay after passing it in the header section you need to make some adjustments on the require we will just remove this And it's not here it will be something let's see and now it will be config and we need to revive the database here okay and now if you come back to your browser and you refresh you will get this beautiful error and it's not important but you need just to open your php bracket one more time and require the include and let's say you want to include the file is in the views folder inside the customers inside the include and it's either php file and save and if you come back and you refresh it says configs file to open 
let's come back to Ada, maybe something wrong. Let's just repeat. Is not here, is not here, is in configs. Is database. And we are on the same screen. Let's just say if you want this one to work. Okay. It just config because we are on the same screen. Okay. And now that our screen is working, if we click on car one again, we go on the data page. And on the data page, we need just to to take this include and pass it on the data page. Okay, and we have the header that's available. Beauty. Next thing to get to, 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 to deal with it is to get this ID that we pass on the URL. And you notice that it's in the URL. So we, the method that I call is a post user get method. So for get this, let's say we call one variable, we call it car ID, and it will be equal to get pass because we are, the data are in the URL and if we call it, we get it with a get method. And now, if you echo this car ID, you will see that we will get this ID. Okay. And here we get the card ID. So we need to make now a query to fetch the specific card with this ID. So let's say the variable will be single cars, single card query. It will be equal to. And here it will be equal to database connection. Let's check if I have access to this one here because we include it here. I think we have access, we have access to it here. And we want we need to prepare the request and select all from cars where ID will be equal to something. You can pass the ID here, but I prefer make it on multi row. And here we execute, and the array will be the car ID. And let's see this and refresh. You will see that we don't we, we don't get some error. And for display this, let's say you want to echo to get the, the query result. And we will get one because we get we have one entry that corresponds to this one. Okay. So the next thing to make is for display the data, but I want to check to take one thing here. Because if you remember, we already make a join query. If, if you don't want to copy it one more time, you just can go back to your backend folder and take the script and pass it here. Here we will cap all and this one, this one, this one. And where ID will be equal to this one. And if you refresh, it says you will see that ID is ambiguous. You just need to add to say that the specific year ID is car ID. And refresh, we will get the same result. Okay. So let's say that you want to get some div. It will be the type box. It's and the first one will be image part. And the next one will be text part. And before starting all of this, you need to make a loop to fetch our data. So we need to for each loop 
and the query will equals this one and we see as a result and we could the query here and open it some line later and pass a specific ID and now we need to make our start design let's say you have the image and we already do thing like this on the uh, index field you need just to go to take the image you can replace the image here and the first one that we get it will be the, the name here the name and if, if we see we have this beautiful thing that start to appear and the second it will be the description so we haven't put the description so let's add some lorem some fake description and let's create a button here and let's say that is book this car now and refresh we have this one that's work okay and this button will be displayed if the user if the, the car is booked or not okay so now let's make some condition if result available it means that the car is available for booking. It's equal equal to zero. We want to display this button. Later we will transform it into a, into a link. So for now we make just like a button. Okay, now we have booked this car now because the button is available so now let's start by styling this very fast let's see we have a cap of one rem okay and let's say we have a margin of auto And let's say we have a justify contact of center and we want to align the item at the, at the center of the page. And we want the width to be one person. Okay. Now the next thing to target is for the type box and the image let me check how we call it it was image part and text part let's say you have some weight of 20 percent and let's say same thing for the type box for the text part Let's say that you have a weight of 68%. And now let's duplicate this one and add the image. And let's say that for the image now I have a weight of 100%. And say this, we have all of this working. And let's say we have some margin left of one rain. Or not, fine. 
just remark. Come back to car rental to the home to the index page. If you click on car rental and go to the same index page, if you click on home. So for making this, let's go back to the include where we put the header, the header section, and let's go back to the navigation. And inside the car rental, let's say it's the, in, the link will be going to index PHP file. And same thing for the home, let's say it will be in the index PHP file. For make it more specific, you can add this. Okay, now let's save this and click on car rental. If we come back to the screen, if you click on data, you come back to the screen. And if you click on home, we come back to the screen. Good.